Hi friend, welcome to my channel. And today I will be showing you guys how to make the simplest yet most delicious shrimp egg roll. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned. <music> jump right into it so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up some bell peppers i got green i got red and then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna chop up some um tomatoes well one tomatoes and i'm gonna use some of that then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna set that to the side next i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take my shrimp and i'm gonna start cleaning my shrimp by cleaning my shrimp i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna remove the shell of the shrimp then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put it like this and i'm gonna make a cut down the middle and i'm gonna remove the stomach lining make sure you do that you guys like if you don't want to that's your business but it bothers my soul and my spirit and who i am it makes me wonder and question who i am so i gotta do it okay then i went ahead and i put a little bit of lime juice so that we can go ahead and take away that fishy smell that shrimp half because shrimp shrimp be stank so we need to go ahead and take away some of that fishy smell then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash it we're gonna rinse it out we're gonna rinse out the lime we're gonna rinse out the shrimp we're gonna just go ahead and clean the shrimp entirely okay next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our shrimp and we're gonna pat it dry with the paper towel and this is again i always say so our shrimp can sizzle and not boil we don't need to access water then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our shrimp put them back on a cutting board and we're gonna cut them into smaller pieces baby if you want to keep them big go ahead and do that ain't nothing wrong with that you could do that if that's what you want to do but that ain't what i did okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add my seasoning I'm going to add some smoked paprika. I'm going to add some cayenne. You know, it's going to give it a little spice. And plus, it's going to make it pretty. Red is such a pretty color, especially in your food. It's going to make it pretty. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some garlic powder. And we're going to add some onion powder. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some Cajun seasoning, okay? Some more Cajun seasoning. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add some extra virgin olive oil so that it, the seasoning can stick onto the shrimp when we're done with that we're going to go ahead and we're going to set it to the side all right now we're going to go ahead we're going to put a skillet on the stove i got my big skillet eddie and i'll put a little bit of oil on there then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add the bell peppers the um and the uh, um, tomatoes that i chopped up earlier then i'm going to go ahead i'm going to mix that all together then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add the shrimp that i seasoned earlier i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to mix that and i'm going to let them cook for a little bit then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add about one tablespoon of butter when making anything seafood you always got to add the butter don't forget the butter always add the butter because the butter is what's going to make it set it off if you can friend be the butter because you need the butter okay all right and friend look how beautiful this look it's so vibrant the colors is just so pretty oh my god you so pretty that it, it just looks amazing to me already i just love the way that this look this is a very simple recipe I almost didn't want to post it because it's so simple, but there are some people that's really picky eaters and they want stuff that's simple. So, and I already made the video, so why not post it? All right. So I took it off the pan and set it to the side. I let it cook for approximately like five minutes, you guys, because you know, it don't take shrimp that long to cook. If you like your shrimp overcooked, then maybe you, you overcook it. It's your business. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some pepper jack cheese. You could use whatever kind of cheese your heart so desire, friend, but this is what I felt like would set it off. Okay. So this is what I use. And I took took a half a stick well a half a um i wouldn't call it a stick a half a block but i ain't even use the whole block so you take about like one fourth of a block okay because you ain't gonna use no half a block i have some cheese left behind okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our egg roll wraps and this is the egg roll wraps that i used i showed you guys they are very cost effective they're like three dollars okay and a lot come in there so it's it's, it's really good then you're going to go ahead, you're going to layer that up. You're going to add some filling and you're going to add some cheese. Don't, don't OD and put too much because when you're trying to wrap them, it's going to be a problem. And we don't want that business. So make sure you don't put too much, but you don't put too little either because I don't want, I don't want to grab no egg roll and there's barely nothing in there, okay? Then we're going to get some water and we're going to put all around the edges. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold it like a, like we're folding a burrito, okay? Just like that. And um, the first one you do, I ain't going to lie to you, may look a little ugly. Because, you know, you ain't used to do it. It may look a little ugly, but don't give up. Just keep trying. And for you to get the best egg roll, you're going to wrap it twice. You're going to wrap it twice. I have made this before a while ago, and I only wrapped it once, and it was a disaster. For it was so embarrassing. 
It was so embarrassing. It, the oil had got all inside. Friend, it was a disaster. Just listen to me and wrap it twice, please, and thank you, okay? Thank you. Then I'm going to show you guys. You see, this one, it had a little hole in it when I was wrapping it. But I'm going to show you guys that I am not perfect. And if you're making yours and that happened, it is not the end of the world, baby. We can still save it, okay? So we're just going to, because remember, we have to wrap it twice anyway. So make sure you just add some water to the edges like you see me doing, and then you roll it. When you roll it that second time, friend, as long as it don't rip that second time, you good to go because you're not even going to be able to tell that it, it was ripped the first time and the little hole is so small that it's not gonna um affect the outcome of the egg roll okay all right so as you see i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna roll it up and you see boo bam bam we we good to go friend it's okay we saved the day okay all right next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go and we're gonna cook our egg rolls you can deep fry air fry or oven bake these i'm gonna have all um recipes for you in the bottom of um the description of which way you want to cook it but i decided to fry mine okay i deep fried mine okay and you're going to deep fry them for like two to three minutes not too long because remember the filling is already cooked we're just basically cooking the wrapper that's it and you know i gotta give this beautiful egg roll a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds Friend, now you know that look good. Please don't be a hater. Don't be a hater all your life, friend. You know that look good. You know that look good. And it was. It was, friend. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this is so easy and so simple yet so delicious friend go ahead and make this you ain't gonna regret it friend i'm trying to tell you, you ain't gonna regret it friend i promise you that friend and when you do make sure you come back and let me know how it went you guys thank you so much for watching do not forget to like do not forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time